<laughs> breathe in and out. Take a break every once in now, every now and again. Halloween time. Today I've got for you guys Stefan Fragrance, man. Brad Pitt of the Fragrance Game. Mark Martin. Whoa, Martin? <laughs> Ricky Martin. Living the Vida Loca. I'm not the fittest. I'm not the fattest. But I'm working on that. Not working on being the fattest. Working on being the fittest. Come on now. Ooh. <laughs> Try to get a good thumbnail. If you want to see this haul, you want to see all these fragrances and me go through them, tell you a little bit about them, stick around. That's coming up next. Let's go. I've been waiting my whole life. I've been waiting on that door. Been waiting on you for the knock knock. Happens every day, happens every day. Won't you check out my vids? Check out my views. Really see how I'm doing. To the top, small fries don't stop. And you're clicking one more time. One more time, that means a whole lot. Whole lot. All right, all right, all right. You guys ready? Ready for it? Let's dig our hands in. Mm -hmm. First one on top. This is Zeal from the house of Ajmal, I believe. This, I sprayed it on last night. A Sauvage clone. If this is kind of cheap, this is a good Sauvage clone. It's pretty close to, to what I have Ventana. It's a bit brighter, a bit fresher at the beginning. And I've got some heavy, let's go through some ones that you might find everywhere. Windsor, and we've got Signature. Boop, boop, boop. The two brothers. These are, I haven't tried them out yet, but what's his name? Uh, Joey Cannoli and TLTG say a lot about this. A lot of people say a lot about Windsor. Um, haven't heard much about Signature, but I am down to try that. Guess what we have after that? Mm, think, speaking of brothers, Brooks Brothers from New York. New York. Shout out to Red Lessons for the 100K, baby. Shout out, baby. Oh, come on, man. Shout out, Bambino. You did good. You did good. Brooks Brothers, I um, haven't. Oh, I did. This is. This is nice and fresh. I sprayed this a couple days ago. Real cool for for maybe going to work out. Um, nice fragrance there. Let's go into some classics. Azaro Pour Ohm. Mm-hmm. Cool bottle. And guess what? Spicy. Gives me that feel of spice bomb. Um, real nice, warm, woody, spicy. Great for the fall time, as Trey Scent says. So I'm gonna rock that out. We've got Azaro, just the the um, the first brother, the bottle that everyone fell in love with. And uh, I never truly tried it out, so I am willing. This is sweet, very sweet. I am down to try this out. This kind of smells like stronger with you. I got a sample from Mo. Shout out to Mo. I'm gonna um, check out those samples. This seems pretty nice. I haven't tried it out all the way. One I was a little disappointed of. You guys have seen this. Craze Noir. I love the bottle though. Lux. Aussie Fragrance still might get a bottle. I'd say this is like a couple notches above above mm, Axe spray. It's kind of basic. Civilized Redneck doesn't agree though. He total this totally does not agree. This works, uh, lasts a long time. Performance is really good for him. So check his, check his review out for that. Civilized Redneck, part of the Small Fry Squad. Check out Matt Hand as well. He's part of the Small Fry Squad. Legendary and epic. Just put his picture in the Small Fry Squad, so he's rocking. Paco Ruban for Ohm. This is the classic. This one. I'm gonna have to put this one up against against um. Jaguar for men. If I ever get a chance to get green, polo green, put it up against those bangers. Speaking of classics, CK Eternity. This, this, I never was too familiar with. I sprayed this on a couple days ago. My brother really liked it. He said, wow, that, that one that you, that you had on was really nice. And it's fresh, but at the same time, carries through this DNA, which this Eternity DNA, which they created, which is very... 
um, a little uplifting, little, little, um, luxurious, not, you know, it's, it's a good all around solid, solid fragrance. So CK Eternity. I think I talked about this. I think this was in my other one, Cremo, Cremo, Bourbon and Oak. It's okay. I mean, for the price, I think you get what you deserve. Um, it's not the longest lasting in my opinion. Cool bottle though. All right, let's keep going. Look, check this out. Vetiver and Citron by The Art of Shaving. Cool little, little cap. This one's nice and soft, and I love the lemon feel I get from this. I need to test it out versus uh, Vi Silver because these are nice, kind of what I've heard. This is a, you've seen in the other other video when I'm riding my bike with the wild, vile, vile. Um, it's supposed to be a vetiver, a gray vetiver from Tom Ford. So this one might be a good matchup. See, they're probably pretty similar. Those two. From the Manhani, we've got Alexandria Fragrances. California Winter 2018. Hmm, this one smells kind of soft. I'd have to check that out. Oh, check out, check it out from another mm, house, another uh, great dude who has uh, hit me up to let me try some of his fragrances. We've got Kevin Holt from Sensual Obsessions. So I'm going to try these out. Ooh, don't let them fall out. Sweet Tooth, I have Sweet Tooth right now, um, the little vial there. There's some original fragrances that he sent me that no one else has a hand on, so I can't wait to do some videos on it. And this Sweet Tooth right here smells like some cotton candy, some, or maybe like some, some um, caramel. Ooh, it's pretty dang nice. I might wear this for my scent of the day. You know what, let's go for it. Let's get through to the rest of the Sweet Tooth. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, spray my face. All right. See how that performs. Okay, on to the next one. Let's see what we've got here. Check out this classy one here. I've got a classy one here for you. The Tet Libre. Sharon. Or Sharon. Yeah. Haven't had much time with this. Smells kind of powdery. I love the, the the color. I'm gonna have to spend some more time with this. Tell me what you guys think about any of these down below. Let's see what else we've got. We've got the classic Eau de Parfum. From, from Calvin Klein, no, what is this? Polo. <laughs> Uh, real nice, fresh. Uh, this is one of the first, uh, the first fragrances I got into fragrances was a rip off of this, and I still do like it. It is called Royal um, Equestrian, I believe, from Classic Match. Real nice. This I love, Polo Blue, classic. Check this out. Vintage. Porom Intense. This, it is intense. The, the the pineapple, I've only sprayed this one time on my hand and the pineapple is juicy, just very, very, um, very potent. I like this. It is intense indeed. Nice, nice, um, nice char flavor to that one. Check this one. If we're talking about potent and we're talking about sexy, we're talking about classic this from initial spray I fell in love with this one look at the bottle this one is Lamal Parfum check out the crotch area check out the booty this is awesome mmm seductive smooth this thing I, I, I can't wait to um, get into the notes of this one and, and check this one out so that's Le Le Mans. All right, we've got a little Penhaligon Sartorial. What else? Keep going. From what? I like this house. Banana Republic. 
and 83 this is leather reserve 83 nice leather note it's kind of a little fresh like a fresh take on the leather i think banana republic for the most part is pretty fresh i think the bottles the way the bottles seem it's it's clean crisp usually um banana republic's like that though vintage green from daver he's gonna do um, a video on that i can't wait to see that because i've been wanting vintage green sounds like an awesome one check this out Juliet has a gun, Moscow Mule. Mmm. A little like coconut vibe, actually, yeah. This, this, I haven't gotten a chance to wear this, but I can't wait. It smells luxurious. Can't wait to smell that one. All right, or wear that one. I've worn this one. Liquid Gold, uh, Calvin Klein. This one, the openings, not the best. Not the, in my opinion, the saffron note is like piercing and it's just killing you. And, but then when it starts drying down, it becomes a sandalwood creamy, uh, really, really like formal type of vibe. And it's nice. This one's nice. For the Cal for Calvin Klein house, Calvin Klein house is underrated. I tell, I'm telling you. All right. Last but not least, the one I've had a crush on. Ever since I saw it, ever since I used to hate these type of bottles, and I, I don't know. I think they were they were like clunky or whatever. But now that I've got one in my hand, and and I've I've done research on it, and I know Robes 08 was a big fan of it. Um, I can't. I was so excited to get this in my hands. Crypto Mint from the house of Thierry Thierry Muglet. Check that out. The sprayer is pretty nice, actually. I know people are complaining that the sprayer, this might be a newer one. The, the, um, it's just a little spritz. It's like, here, let's, let's mix. See? It's a nice, just a little button press. This is, the mint in here is so, it, it's not like natural, but it's got like that spearmint kind of, um, kind of candy vibe, but it's not over cloying. It's not overly sweet. It's nice and fresh. Uh, the Angel Men DNA is perfect with that mint, and I've just this is my uh, this is what I've I've been going for s since I've gotten all of these fragrances. So for the fall time, I think it's good. Mm. Whew. People say it smells like like toothpaste or something. It's fresh. It's like a little kind of a mentholated effect, but I love that with that Angel Men kind of patchouli um, sweetness that that drives through that. It's really nice. So. That's about it. Mmm. I'm gonna smell good. This sweet tooth is nice too. So, I'm gonna go eat some pho with my brother, Zachary. We're gonna go have some fun. This is a longer video. This is a haul for Friday. I hope you guys had a fun time here. And, um, leave, you know, down below, leave what you think I should review or do a video on, or top 10 list ideas, or top 5 list ideas, or whatever. And let me know what you're up to this weekend. And subscribe, like, share. Till next time. Stay true. Stay yourself. Toodles. Huge shout out to EJ for this haul. Making this haul possible. Happy, go check out Happy Land. And... I'll see you guys next time.